Caesar of the zoo, ready to relieve him of a sin or two. I love Les Mis, it's one of my favourite musicals because it's a, there's something in it for everyone. It has tragedy, um, there's something in there for the guys who like action films because of the barricade and there's guns and stuff. There's something in there for people who want a romance story because of Marius and Cosette. And it's, generally it's about hope and the human condition. No matter how bad things get, we always have hope. Things are always going to be okay. And that's, I think, the reason why it's been running for so many years. Well, our characters are the comedy role, but also probably one of the darkest and scariest roles in the show. And, and Hamish has made um, made this role a lot darker for me. He's he's come at it, at it from a different angle, which has really helped, um, which has really helped create a, a darker side to this character than just the comedy role that normally some people perceive this role as. Whereas Teresa has pulled the re the, the Hamish to be up to a, from out, out of the dungeons and up to a, an appropriate level. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun. You get to almost do that alter ego thing, which, because I'm it's just, it's so not me. Naturally, I'm a really bubbly, vibrant, vibrant person. I am! <laughs> Gosh. He's a man who's very black and white. Um, he only sees things in a certain way. There's not much grey in his world. So, as far as he's concerned, because he isn't privy to all of the things that happen to Valjean throughout the show. He doesn't see the bishop, he doesn't see him take on Cosette. Um, he just sees a man who broke, stole a loaf of bread, broke parole, and then is on the run the whole time. So he spends his entire life dedicated to it. And that's why he, spoiler, Chavez suicide at the end, um, when, when he realises that he's wasted his life chasing a man who is actually an honourable man. He can't deal with that. Had you been there tonight, you might also have known how the world may be changed in just one burst of light. It was unexpectedly quite complex for me, the part of Marius, because he is he's quite a different character in his different relationships, whether it be this one or this one, <laughs> and trying to convey that on the stage, for sure. And I know it's only in my mind that I'm talking to myself and not to him. I really love playing Eponine because she has this tough exterior but on the inside she's a real softy because she has a crush on him. Um, but yeah, and part of, the, part of it is just having to have all these emotions and then pretending that she's okay with everything that's going on and putting on a brave face. Cosette is a beautiful character and she comes from a very, she has a traumatic childhood but by the time we see her as a grown adult she's really flourishing and she's loving, she's gentle, she's quite intelligent really and I don't think that's not something that people often think of but um, she's also, she has a, yeah she has this beautiful journey and she meets Marius and that's when her life changes and she's the symbol of hope in the show I think. The whole spectacle, from the crew, to wardrobe, to sound, to lighting, everyone's just like one big whanau, coming in a big family, and, and Grant has just put this masterpiece on, which I don't think when people come and see it will actually realise that no. we, are, we are everyday people, we're lawyers, we're doctors, we're teachers, that have an absolute passion for theatre, wouldn't want it any other way. Oh!